Check this out. A new Instagram account that shares photos of grandmothers who have been unable to visit their families in the United States. Hashtags like ban grandmas and grandparents not terrorists have gone viral in hopes of putting a universal face on the impact of the travel ban. Let's bring in one of the leaders of this campaign, Elham Katami, the outreach director for the National Iranian American Council. Uh, your grandma, straight up, became a U.S. citizen five years ago. This travel ban could have easily affected her, uh, but your uncle actually has been impacted by this travel ban this year. Uh, talk to us about how so. Sure, thank you for having me. Uh, well, first off, I want to say my colleagues and I at the National Iranian American Council wanted to start this hashtag, Grandparents Not Terrorists, uh, because we wanted to put a human face on this issue. We wanted to show the world that these individuals are not terrorists. They are our loved ones. They are our grandparents, our uncles, our aunts, our cousins. And we wanted to show that uh, this really isn't doing anything to make America safer. Uh, the one thing that it is doing is fulfilling Trump's campaign promise to ban Muslims. Um, and as you said, yes, my uncle was personally impacted by this. Um, my husband and I were married this past May, and uh, we were really hoping that my uncle could uh, make it to uh, our wedding from Iran. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, when he got his letter inviting him to his visa interview, it was just when the Muslim ban had hit, uh, and it really impeded his process in getting into the United States in time. This is just heart wrenching for so many different families all across America. I remember um, when this Muslim ban. Uh, uh, first came down and I was at Los Angeles International Airport. It's just heartbreaking um, on an individual level to see uh, the specific families that are affected by this. You didn't have to do this. You have 600, I was just looking, you have 643 followers on the Band Grandma's Instagram page right now. Um, you want to obviously build a movement, uh, do a social yeah. media campaign. Why this strategy? Because everybody loves their grandmothers. Uh, everybody has a close relationship with their grandmothers. And unfortunately, speaking for myself personally, uh, I wasn't able to have that relationship until uh, just five years ago. Uh, so. So we wanted to, uh, to put a human face on that, to show the world that uh, these are the individuals who are being impacted and that it's not right. What do you think is going to happen uh, next now that the Ninth Circuit's uh, rejected Hawaii's request? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, I think that it's uh, becoming more and more clear that we can't rely on the courts to defend us uh, until the end of time. I think what needs to happen is uh, we need to put pressure on members of Congress to stand up to Trump and to push back against this ban. There is legislation in Congress right now collecting dust that could repeal the ban on Monday if, if members of Congress took it up. Uh, but unfortunately, they haven't been doing that, and I think we need to band together and make sure that they do. Let's talk about the Supreme Court, because we know that the Supreme Court is going to hear the Muslim travel ban case in October. Do you th I mean, do you think it's going to be upheld considering the Supreme Court allowed parts of the ban uh, to move forward right now, which puts us in the mm -hmm. situation we're in and we're talking about today? Well, I'm not a legal expert. I can only hope that uh, the Supreme Court will do what's right and uh, take the ban completely off of the books. Uh, and I think what we're seeing here is the Trump administration trying to nitpick and include bits and pieces of this ban in order to save face. And uh, in, it, it, honestly, to me, it, it's bordering on, on pathological. Does, uh, do you get the sense, I want to ask you just about Instagram, do you get this, I'm sure your grandma knows that you are fighting for people just like her who may not have the opportunity to get here, but do you think your grandma has any idea what Instagram is? I, I don't believe so. She's actually very good with her smartphone, so, so maybe she does, but uh, I'll have to fill her in the next time I see her. I think it's uh, extraordinary uh, what you're doing. Uh, your grandma looks amazing just from the pictures that we've been looking at uh, <laughs> over the course of our interview. And I want to thank you for taking the time and coming here on a Saturday. Thank you so much Katami for having from the me. National Iranian American Council. Thanks a lot. Thank you. All right. Uh, I'm not going anywhere. You shouldn't either. Ahead in our next hour, much